Hey Fluffies! Welcome back to Pink Stylist Place. Today we're playing a game called After the Curtain Call. I know literally nothing about this game. It was sent to me by a friend who said I would enjoy it. It does actually sound quite nice and it does look quite nice. I, 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 I really know nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I haven't seen any images. I've not read anything about it. So let's learn this together. A boop. So act one, life is a dream. A boop. Illuminate the actor. The king dreams he is king. Oh! And he lives in the deceit of a king, commanding and governing. Oh, I like and all this. All the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Where then? Oh, is the I game really of a like this. That shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death. Dreams the rich man I really want to look around to the fears, one. The fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that feigns and foregoes. Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all down. the world I see, man dreams whatever he needs. This is so interesting. And his own dream. No man. And I too dream and behold. I kind of want to see what happens though if I don't. Chains, and I dreamed that oh, I have one job. Were fortunate ways of old. Am I allowed to just go? Whoop. Oh. What is life? A tale that is oh. told. What is life of friends? I kind of want to fail now. Let's <laughs> see what it does. Things that seem and the greatest good is but small. That all life is a dream. I also want to see how much of this they've recorded. themselves. Are a dream. Oh, and what is a dream? Oh, but the absence of thought. Oh, and what is a dream but the life of another? Okay, that is only live in the mind. A dream is nothing. Oh, getting Why angry. Don't you understand? Oh, it is nothing. All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatization. Bloody hell. Why did you come? Play we have nothing to give you. Play we are just actors part. following Play a script. Your Play your part. Oh. I was doing it. I was doing a really good job. Oh, sorry. Too, too happy. Okay. Life. It's... it's dream. I kind of want a game now where I can control the lighting and the sound and everything. That just sounds like fun. Oh! Okay, uh, you... You're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I I need you to do us a favour. Go go behind the stage and... The radio. The radio. Turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it, please. It's really important. We're depending on you. Mission, turn the radio behind the stage on. Oh! Oh, we're moving around now! Okay, so it's not... So it isn't just that the whole game then? Because I, I would like that. Well, it's very pretty. Oh! Today's the day! Today's the day! Oh, this sorry. is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionate. They are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises! Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn. Th th that is, if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old, and today us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I, I'm, I'm getting nervous. I is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. Dad, I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. Oh, I like the voice acting. It's nice that we actually have voice acting. I don't have to read it out for once. Ah, it was all very bendy in the ink machine, isn't it? Um, okay. Uh, I want to go... No, I want to go to the back. Turn the radio on behind the stage. This way. That just looks dangerous, though. Boop. Excuse me. I'm not allowed, okay. Moo moo. Guess I'm going down there, then. Literally break a leg. Ah, oh, I can't. Ah, oh, it's happened I could just jump down there. Invisible railings are rude. Seems nice. Electricity. Oh, well, I'm no fool. What? Search for the key and access to the electricity sources. Okay. Looking for a key. Looking for a key. 
decoration. Okay, I want to go in there. Is every room bloody locked? Oh. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Employees only. Well, I'm an employee, I think. Oh, it's very dark. Oh, look, it's the actual auditorium. Yay. Can I sit and watch a show? Is there a key on the chair? I can't run and there's no, like, flashlight. So, bodes well. <laughs> For not being a horror, I mean. So I can't go in any of these rooms. That's not very fair, is it? Well, where's the bloody key? And I definitely can't... Today's the day. No, that's that. I can't access the thingy. Okay, so I don't... Oh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Was that a... Was that a tentacle? Why was that a tentacle? <laughs> Where the fuck was that? Okay, I really weren't expecting that. He didn't drop a key. Can I get in there yet? Can I push it with my face? No. Do I need to follow the tentacle? Why was it... I don't know. I don't understand. Oh, I don't understand. No, I do not. Oh, okay, I didn't go this way. Whoops. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexius, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexius passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said that the Roman Empire began. Alexius was the best warrior from the abilities he had only learned by watching others fight. He died during battle, and it was rumoured golden blood dripped from his wound. That's called metal poisoning, isn't it? Um, it is known for a fact that he had offspring, but their whereabouts were lost to time. Hmm. Well, this looks like a jump scare waiting to happen. Key! Nice! The radio isn't working. Fix the sounds. Okay. I have the key now. Can I go down here? Ooh, look, I'm on the stage. A mystical and... Oh, wait. Two or five books. A mystical and horrible Lovecraftian tale about a kid who, misled by his grandfather's indications, awakes an elder being while making a snowman. What? A Christmas classic for the whole family that I myself would recommend. Oh. Our very white Christmas. Okay. I'm on the stage! Look, I'm an actor! Yay! <laughs> um, is there anything behind here? No. Well, that was totally worth it. Um, okay. What did that one say? Heroes from Oblivion. Mm. So I have the key. Burp. Wait, the radio isn't working. Fix the sounds, the main electricity source. I, I, I've got the key for the... Is it not for there then? I don't know. Is it the key to decorations? Well then what was the bloody key for? I don't know. No, I don't. I'm scared that octopus thing is going to show up again. Bizarre. Oh, please don't do it again. Ooh. Ah! Oh, that's terrifying. Oh. Oh. Oh! Open the metal door. I want to go down there, kinda. Ooh. The tenth sister will hatch. Is she part bird? I'm so happy. Oh. We had never had the theater for us. And from not having anything to have the whole Goldstein theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, 
but has rooms everywhere and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. <laughs> a sticky gooey ball. Lovely. Ooh, there's another one. So what? Is that? It's a pu- Oh, okay, fun. Do, do, do and do. And then plug. Oh, I like that. Okay, so what did that do? I, I'm not going down there. Search for the key and access to electricity sources. Okay, well, I'm not, I really want to see what's down there, but at the same time, my brain's going, don't do it, Charlie. That'd be silly. Oh. Is it even possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No, even better. Is it even possible they have bought us the whole Cold Shine Theater? I'm it's shocked. Delicious. The Gold Shine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations, which Helena is organizing, and some extra pounds Geoffrey has spent on books to write an original play. It's nice to have you us hear like an English voice that. and English currency. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, give it one. Uh, three of five books. This piece tells the story of the Mayans who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies as their religion demanded, since they didn't reach the sun. They instead became their counterparts, moths. Fucking... I can never escape... All right. Moths, living in the dark and forever searching sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. What does it say? The Fall of the Mayans. Oh, wow. Okay. Key! Grab the electricity key. Very good. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, no, we don't got to. <laughs> I thought there was a metal door to be opened, or I'd missed that. They must have done it already. So, electricity. I think the mission keeps changing. See, that tentacle arm was really out of place. Sounds, okay. Uh, so I want to go do, 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 do. What the? Life is a dream. What the fluff was that? Okay. Can I walk in the dark? No, I can't. Good. <laughs> oh, book. Pied Piper of Hamlin. The classic story of Pied Piper of Hamlin. However, in this book, in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but the flute that summoned some creature, which was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. The book calls this creature Schlagergeist. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? So, we only have one more book to get then. That's cool. Um, turn the radio behind the stage up. No, I want to get one more book before we do that. Is that the, is that the end of the game? I really, really want to find the extra book. Have I gone in decorations yet? No, I haven't. Okay, well, let's try and turn that on then. Uh, this way. Yeah, I've had that one. Okay. Nervous now. Blub. Can I turn it off? I can't. Oh, crap. What's the sound? I thought it was clapping, but I don't think it is. Oh, book! Or is that the one I've already seen? Oh, it's good. Ah! Exit the electricity room. Hold on, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's lit up now. Was that supposed to happen? I'm so confused. What was so that? Was uh, maybe that was supposed to happen? I don't know. You then you. I can't touch the sides. Okay, so 
You, you, I can't cross. Can I cross the wires? No. Can I not just leave that way? Nope, of course not. Uh, okay, into the hole. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so now we're in a vent. Great. <laughs> Again, I can't run, so that's good. I really want the extra book. I'm scared to look up. <laughs> he says whilst looking up. Oh, oh, it's not pleasant. Ah! What the? F what? What? You just completed after the curtain call act one, life is a dream. Did you find all the books to play the extra content? Did you find the act two wink easter egg? No, I didn't get all the books. I didn't get to go in decoration, what? Okay, so I just had a quick replay of the game just to see if there was anything I missed. The only thing I could say is um, once you activated the radio, this little demon thing was running around looking for me. I just happened to kind of run into it. Uh, I, I don't think you could escape it because it runs really, really fast. I couldn't find the fifth book though, which is really irritating me. But from what I can gather, there isn't anything really to unlock. It's just another little bit of another play. So I don't think it's too much to worry about. But I'm really like, I want to see more. Oh my goodness. I don't know how new this game is, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm hoping it's been out for a little while. So that the next chapter might be available soon. Because I'll be first in line to play it. Because it's really pretty. And this kind of game like opens up so many possibilities. I'm not sure why the, the octopus thing... Like, it would make sense if the, like, monsters in this game are, like, creatures that could have come out of plays. Yeah. But I think it's going to be one of those ones that kind of unravels as you play more and more of it. So I will definitely keep an eye out for more editions of this game. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. And as always, if you wanted to play this game for yourself, I will pop that link in the description bar below. So thanks so much for watching this video, Fluffies. Until the next one, awesome possum. Bye, Fluffies!